YouTube, what do you hear back with a video on Arrow Season 5? Yes, this is my first FaceTime video, as we've got more time to make a video today. Beard, potentially staying or going, I don't know, comment down below, let me know what you think, should I keep it off, should I trim it off? Right, this video, as you can tell by the title, is about Laura Lance. Is she back? If you're watching this video, you've probably seen 509, which was the mid-season premiere, and you've seen the trailer for 5010, Who Are You? So if you've watched this, it implies that Black Siren is going to be in the episode in 5010, as the trailer says, finally someone's worked out who I am. So we're going to that later on in this video. So go back to a video that I did three weeks before Arrow Season 5 premiered, and Wendy Miraku said that our Laurel is a well and alive. Here's, here's my boy. You know who he is, if you're OGs. Um, she said, our Laurel is a well and alive. So to me, that implies Earth 1 Laurel Lance is alive. Not Earth 2 Black Siren, not Earth 12 Black Canary. Our Laurel is alive. So in this video, I predicted that Black Siren from Earth 2 would be helping kind of the crossover episode and she'd eventually turn into Black Canary. I was totally wrong, that didn't happen. That was our Laurel from an alternate universe. So yes, we got our Laurel back for one episode and then that ended. Because obviously the Dominators put, put um, Oliver Queen, Diggle, etc. into like an alternate universe. So yes, Wendy was totally spot on for that one episode. So let's go back to 5010. So 5010 applies, actually no, let's go back to 509. 509, Oliver goes to the Batcave. Not the Batcave. Well, essentially, Oliver is the Batman of Arrow. So he goes to the Arrow. She goes to the Arrow Cave and says, "Hi, Ollie," and that caused a massive surge of fans thinking Laurel Lance is back. But then, if you watch the Five O Ten trailer, they essentially ruin it, or is it misdirection? How this program likes you to believe. So it implies that she's a uh, Black Siren, as she's got piercing. She's got a second piercing, which is slightly different, but. If you follow in real life, you know she's got a second piercing. Anyway, everyone noticed it, but no one said it. Well, at least I didn't see anyone say it. If they did, let me know down below. I didn't see one tuber that actually mentioned the second piercing. It's quite trendy at the moment. So yes, Black Siren is more of a kind of emo goth. So yes, the second piercing to me kind of signals that she is Black Siren. So why would the producer of season, well, the producer of Arrow alone, Wendy Miracle lied to us and say, ah, oh, Laurel Lance is back. Oh, wait a minute. They, she said season four was going to be good and it wasn't. So, yeah, is, is Arrow going back to its old ways just in this short little lie? But then Stephen Amell said something, so it's interesting, so, sorry, said something interesting during his live chat. He said there's a resurrection during this season. So, wait a minute. Cheeky plug for Monster. You know, I love the monsters. said there's a resurrection during the season so for me it wouldn't be too crazy for them to resurrect earth one laurel lance even though if you've seen 501 legacy the first episode of this season she's definitely dead hence why she's got the awful looking statue so they most likely won't resurrect laurel lance as that would be insane resurrecting someone that's been dead for that, that long Obviously, when Thea and Sarah Lance got resurrected, they weren't, they weren't dead for that long. It was pretty much straight away after when they are resurrected. But yet again, let me go back to the point. Why would Wendy, comment down below, say that our Laurel is well and alive? And she also said, uh, I can't remember exactly, this was a few months back. She said it's so good that she's agreed to come back and work for us. But I'm still thinking, hang on a minute, you fired her. And then said, oh, wait a minute, you can come back on Legends, Flash, and your own show again. So it's a bit patronising how so it, she's so willing to come back. Well, because this role essentially made her. Yes, she's been in some other things, but Arrow essentially made her. So are we actually going to get Earth 1 Laurel Lance, or is it just going to be Black Siren from Earth 2? Because we've not actually had confirmation. This is just theories, fanboys like me and some other tubers are saying that it's Black Siren, but it could be from any Earth. So this is not a theory video, but 
the general consent going around is the A or B, a Prometheus letter out, which is kind of crazy. Obviously, if you watch The Flash, you'd know that, that she's in the Flash jail, and obviously, somehow Prometheus went to Central City and let her out. On the obviously other consent is when Savitar was in Star Labs, he let her out, but why would they have a crossover? That doesn't make any sense. So, what I'm hoping is on the premiere episode for Flash. Five, no, sorry, Flash 3010 is that if they're going with she broke out Star Labs, that it actually gets mentioned and it's not one of these little pussy fucking things where they go, where uh, Felicity or Cisco have a conversation or Barry and Ollie have a conversation. Oh, by the way, Earth 2 Laurel Lights have broke out. As that would just make this potential great season that from probably episode six, maybe seven, has been on par for me at least and some other people that comment on a lot of my videos it's been on par probably with season two maybe just about so i hope they don't, don't just brush it under the rug if that is the case but i'm hoping it is the case that al ghul i can never say a name properly talia al ghul maybe uh nissa sister talia al ghul potentially the, the woman who set who trained prometheus and oliver to do that kind of spin kick thing that everyone's been going on that and she's the woman that is kind of keeps moving from place to place i presume she's going to be in flashbacks or we see in present day so if there is some resurrection or if this is black siren i hope it's got something to do with us called al Ghul because i can't actually say it in italia maybe um i don't know anyway the, the person who oliver refers to in the trailer if it is to do with her maybe she resurrects Earth One Laurel Lands. This is not a theory. This is just some vibe. I'm just vibing like Cisco. These are just vibes that I've got. So let me know. Do you think this could happen? Uh, is Earth One Laurel Lands going to be coming back? Or did the executive producers of a major TV show lie to us once again? Uh, I'm hoping that they didn't. Because obviously since... Laurel Lance, Kate Cassidy has been back on the show. The ratings have spiked high up. They've absolutely spiked. Um, that teaser teaser at the end of, of this mid-season finale for Arrow has had the internet buzzing. In fact, it's been one of my highest videos. Uh, 12,000 views-ish, I think, for a channel that had under 500 subs. It's very good, all because of Laurel Lance coming back in the teaser trailer the kind of little theory video I made. So speculation are based around Katie Cassidy, who's an awesome actor, in my opinion, one of the best characters on the programme. Let me know down below, are we going to get Earth on Laurel Lance, or did the executive producers lie to us again? Let me know your little conspiracy theory, kind of, I don't know, even, even if it's conspiracy theory off Reddit or something, post it down below. How do you think this, this version of Katie Cassidy, well, at least it's Katie Cassidy actor, Laurel Lance, how is she getting to Arrow if it is the one from The Flash, etc. Anyway, guys, you know what to 